Hello, friends! Today we are gonna draw and color a baby rhino. So we make these circles intersecting each other. Three big ones and three small ones like this. Now we make the sketch of the rhino like this. And the horn. And the eyes. The eyeballs. Ears. And the legs. And the mouth. And the base of the horn. Alright, so we have the sketch of the baby rhino. It is a very heavy animal and it has a thick protective skin and it has one horn and other rhino species may have two horns too. Let's start coloring it. So I've taken the sky blue color. We can start from the edges very carefully. Make sure the color doesn't spill over the outline. And then you can fill in the color, like this. You can use the thinner portion of the brush in between the eyes and narrow areas like such. The edges again. Let's keep the strokes more in a directional. It gives a good texture. We can take a broader brush because there's a huge area to paint. Nicely around the edges. We can use the thinner part of the brush for these areas. And then color it like this. Now we take the smaller brush for the edges. So we'll paint the outlines first. Like this. Be very careful. is very important while painting. Now let's paint the horn of the baby rhino. The body is done. So now we're gonna pick up a mango yellow color for the horn to make it look interesting. So I'm gonna mix a tint of orange color in the lemon yellow color to make it look like the mango yellow color. 
All right, so let's get started with the horn. We're gonna do the edges first, very carefully. And fill in the color like this. All right, so the horn is colored now. Let's paint the eyeballs. For which, we're gonna take the black sketch color and fill the color in like this. Now we're gonna darken the outline, which gives it a perfect shape. The image looks brighter with the darkened outline. Be very careful and just draw on the outline. Do you know some interesting facts about rhinos? Our planet is home to five species of rhinos. These brilliant bees are known for their awesome giant horns that grow from their snouts. Hence the name rhinoceros, meaning nose horn. These incredible creatures are some of the biggest animals in the world. And despite their huge size and strength, these bulky animals don't prey on other animals for food because they're herbivores. Because of their huge bodies, strong horns, and thick, armor-like skin, rhinos have no natural predators. Nevertheless, these brilliant bees get frightened easily. Isn't that funny? But interesting. Alright, so our baby rhino is ready. 